Hey guys, how you doing today? It is Steve on the Guru Brew 2. Today I'm going to teach you how to burn disc CDs or DVDs on your internal drive. Now you probably have a computer that has a CD or DVD or both um, a burner inside your computer and I'll put a picture up here and you can look at what the front of it will say. Generally it'll say CD, DVD, rewriter or burner or it might just be a CD or a DVD burner but chances are if it's a newer computer it'll be both. These are what the discs look like. This is a CD and it's called a CDR CDR and the R stands for write and these you can pick up in a big pack at the store like this. They're not very expensive. Just make sure that they're a CDR. They also have CDRW and the W means rewrite and I don't recommend using those. You can reuse them and that sort of thing but I don't find that they work that well. Now you can also buy these and these are DVD-Rs. And these hold quite a bit more than the CD. The CD typically holds about 700 meg of data. And this DVD-R holds about six times as much. It's a 4.7 gig. So if you just have a little bit to save, you know, you can go with the CDs because they are cheaper. And if you have a little more to save, go with the DVDs. I usually just buy the DVDs because they're not a lot more money and they hold quite a bit more. And, you know, these are really convenient for burning and keeping pictures on and archiving away. You can put these in a sleeve and then forget them. And the nice thing about the way I'm going to show you how to burn them today, you can read them in other types of computers. You don't necessarily need a Windows computer to read these discs. There's different ways to burn these, but the method I'm going to show you today is called mastering. And that's a technique that you can use so that it will be read on other types of machines, okay? So keep it in mind, if you buy the DVDs, buy a DVD-R, they can hold about 4.7 gig. And if you buy the CDs, buy a CD-R, and they're about uh, 650 to 700 meg. And they typically come in these packs. Here's a small pack and a large. So I'm going to show you this on a Windows 7 today. So let's go to my computer and get started. Okay, so right away, I'm going to go ahead and take my CD disc. Now, the technique works exactly the same if you're using a CD or DVD. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to open up my drive and put this in. Okay, I put the CD in, the CDR in, and I close the door. You can see the computer's thinking. And it pops up with this window, it says autoplay. And it's asking me what I want to do. Do I want to burn an audio CD or do I want to burn files to disk? Choose the second one. I'm not going to go through all these settings, but I'm going to show you the easiest way that it works for all computers, okay? Rather, it will be read by, by other computers. Okay, so the next question is the disk title. Now you can just leave the date in there that they put in, or you can type in your own title. And we're going to use a second one with a CD or DVD player, because that's what we're doing, right? Next. So then you end up with this blank window, and you can see here at the top it says CD RW Drive. And again, R is read and w is actually write we're not using the rw disk we're just using the r but it still comes up rw anyway this blank window right here is where we're going to put the files that we want to put onto the cd and they can be any kind of file or folders or a mixture of each you can put music documents old emails music whatever you have you can put it on these discs okay so I have this blank window here, and the idea is to bring things into the blank window, and then when we're all done, we hit this button up here. It says burn the disk, okay? Now, if you want to drag things in, let's say I wanted to drag this file. All you do is you hold down on this with your left-hand mouse button, 
and you can actually drag it to this window and let go and you can see it made a copy of it and look down here it popped up it says I've got files waiting to be burned to the disk and up here it says files ready to be written to disk one okay and not only did it not move it but it made a copy so really this that's in there right now is just a copy of this so that's one way to get things into this window now like I said before I can also drag things in as a folder now this folder right here actually contains a couple videos if I grab the whole folder again I can left click it hold down drag over and drop now you can see there's a folder in there and there's a file in there and inside this folder there's those two files now you can also do it another way let's navigate away from this window let's go to my libraries let's go to my pictures and let's open up this sample pictures I can individually pick these by clicking and holding down my control key and that will allow me to pick more than one you can see I can pick one or I can deselect it or select it as long as I'm holding down my control key see how I can unselect or you can take and draw a window around them you can hold your left mouse button down in a blank area and then hold down and drag and you'll get this window and if you put the window around the ones that you want to select let's say I just wanted these if I let go all these are selected and these are not if I wanted to select these two again I can hold down my control click click now they're all selected I'm just trying to give you an idea of different ways you can select now what I can do is come on top of any one of these files that's selected and if I use my left hand mouse button click one time and navigate down to send to here at the very bottom you'll see there's my CDRW drive again and if I left click on that those files should be in my CD drive let's go take a look here's my CD drive here let's open it look at all those files that are ready and that's it and you can just keep adding files to this window until you get the ones that you want and then when you're all done you hit this button right here and I'm not gonna do it right now because it takes a few minutes but that'll start the burn and once it's complete it'll tell you to remove the disk and label it and then once you're all done you can delete these files out of here with this button here and then I'll take them out of there and keep in mind this won't delete the files this will just delete them from this area remember when we move stuff in here it's just a copy now I wanted to mention about the space limits I know it's a little complicated with all this selecting and stuff but uh, if you have to rewind this video and watch it again um, you'll get the hang of it so thanks for watching bye for now I hope this video helped you out if it did please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish if you have your own question that you would like answered please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link, and leave a question, and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.